So you might be in a situation where for some reason your banking app on your particular iPhone is not working. So whether it's Bank of America or it's, you know, a different bank out there, Wells Fargo, whatever bank, you know, that you have, there's a couple of reasons why something like that may end up happening. Now, the very first thing I recommend doing is making sure that your particular banking app that you're using, whatever it is, you may just want to go and make sure that it's not actually down. So sometimes those servers can randomly go down. So what I would recommend doing here is going to a website called downdetector.com. So this is a very popular website. A lot of people use it. And basically within this website, if it loads, you will see that if there's any real-time problems or outages, this website will basically tell you. So what you can do here so you can basically scroll through and find different pages. So you can find this particular page here, which is basically a, you know, it's just a Bank of America application. What you want to do is you want to look through this particular page to see if your particular, you know, bank app is here. If it's down, it's probably going to be the top 10 application on here. So scroll through the top 10, see if it's down. If it's not there, you can keep scrolling. But if you do find your, you know, specific thing here, if you do find your, uh, you know, banking app here, if it's down, it'll show up here. And that's basically the main thing I recommend doing here. Now, beyond that, another thing I recommend doing is try updating your particular application. So you can go right inside of your app store, find your banking application here, and then you can try updating it. That's another very big thing I'd recommend doing here too. So try that out. That's another very big thing I would recommend doing there too. If it's still not working, you can try restarting your phone or try, you know, using a different app for the most, you know, most part or try the website component. But those are kind of the main ways to go and fix it for the most part. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.